These are all politicians. You all face too much. <laughs> so I think I'm um, uh, really honored to be here. And I think uh, IPC, lucky to have Barsa already to head is a one man show in a way. Although IPC, Narayana, Narayana, everybody was there, but still gave us a mask behind and made it happen. I think it's a great meeting. So I'm going to make a very few bullet points. So I don't want to make it go lunch. I'm also hungry actually. So <laughs> uh, let's make it one simple thing. Some people will believe that Indian regulation is not changing. Please change your opinion. Why I'm saying this? I've seen in water for injection. Simple water for injection, you can get a license in one month. Today, only state drug control can issue a license in one week. Okay? But today, CDSO and uh, and both state both are joint inspection. Just water for injection. That has changed in last five, six months, the regulation. Totally changed. So that means, in a way, they want to make state drug center to be involved. So the question here, why is it some companies are making cough syrup and all those things are a problem? It's because this, each state has got a regulation different. That is where the problem is. So one of the proposals I proposed in Nagpur IPC meeting that how state and federal can be joined to combine together. So you just put it uh, a thousand people in serious office and you once you state and center both mergers, you have a hundred thousand one lakh people and entire regulation in the country. That means little reorientation of training and all that changes. Then you have one quality, one nation, one country. The joke to the changes. So simple approaches. Uh, I, as, a, as an entrepreneur, I always look at the problems in a simple language. If I look at simple, then you find the best solution. That's number one. Number two, the, the innovation. How do you make it to next level India type products? If the Indian government can give some income tax pay for five to ten years, for any new molecule developed in India, a first time launched, whether in India or any other country in the world, if it launched, that can be given at 10 years income tax break. That will pull the innovation grassroots level, even pharma company, everybody will start investing money into the innovation to make it happen. Somewhere the government has to be involved in that process. Today we are on the busy in the balance sheet, unfortunately. We are looking at not looking at the future. Future is required, this sort of innovation to be brought in. The third is the COVID time has taught us a geopolitics. How the global PR agencies, global companies, global intelligence agencies can can define something about a country and pick up the things what they want to look at it in a different way and magnify and create stories. I think this is where the Indian Pharmaceutical Association should lead to all the associations. We have too many associations, unfortunately, in the country. And all the associations doesn't talk to each other again. And I think if they are joined together and work out simple five different plans, what has to be executed for the government? Five simple five agenda. But you each association will have hundred agendas. That's a problem. So if you have a five agendas, a country requires next five, ten years, what has to be required? If you put that strategy, and I think it can be achieved. Look at it today. The balance sheet of pharma company in this country, if they all pull together, all the pharma companies pull together their CSR funds, I will not be surprised if it's about the $2 billion. All put together CSR funds of all the pharma companies. If they pull together, you see the size that they can magnify the countries of this level to go to the next innovation level or regulatory angle, whatever it is you want to build your research, whatever it is you can do, that one simple thinking. That needs a strategy thinking at a top. Even top 50 companies join together in the country. Put together CSR fund, together one partners, and to make it and get the income tax break from the uh, running law, central law, and say that this can be put together for the next five years by the CSR fund, by the government, by the government can give a approval for that. And I think change the game for the country itself. You'll have one partners or two, three million dollars lying there, and you can you can really transform the country itself. Human resource. And I think you now we are very good in dealing, TV, unfortunately. Okay? The Chinese are extremely good in skill set. They can't even speak good English, but they are very good in skill set. That is what they are publishing well in science and technology. But what our minister talked about, our senior Rao has talked about, the, the creating a, a skill institute, skill university, people doesn't have. I mean, that's a very critical. 
You know, I'll tell you a simple example. Many people under the doesn't understand. Skill is to know government is promoting skill is to you know something. A last simple example. We have catering technology degree. Okay, he doesn't know how to make it easy. Will you hire him as a cook? You will not hire him as a cook. But he's got a good degree from Adya Catering Technology Central Government Institute. But he doesn't know how to make a good degree. You will never hire him. So what do you need? But if a guy who is a even basic degree, but he knows how to make a good degree, okay, he can you can hire him as a good cook. As simple. And if you suppose a good fellow who makes a good degree, he works in Taj, you uh, know, Taj, Taj, Taj hospitality. And suppose they lay him out, then he says, "Look, I can put opposite the Taj Hotel, put a small, you know, weekly shop, and I'll still make ten rupees weekly. I'll sell it." So you see, that skill set makes a person to take a risk and to become an entrepreneur. You see, all all connected, the skill, education, all are connected. I think the country we need to focus these very focused areas, and I think leave it there. I don't want to drag. Now we are all hungry. And uh, so uh, I'm done with Chakravarti. Thank you for giving up on it. Ram Krishna is very tired. And <laughs> so, so and thank you very much for all the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Sir.